On September 9th, 2001, Disneyland closed the Country Bird Jamboree to be replaced with a Winnie the Pooh dark ride. The show was a musical review, starring a group of bears. While the bears remain popular characters in Orlando and Tokyo, they've been largely forgotten about by California crowds. But before their eventual removal, there was a large effort to save the bears in the form of a brand new ride. Towards the end of the show's life, audience numbers were low, and the popularity of the characters was quickly dropping. Disney executives gravitated towards Winnie the Pooh due to Pooh merchandise flying off shelves, and the concept of a Winnie the Pooh dark ride being a proven success at Walt Disney World. Before Disney was fully committed to Pooh replacing the Country Bears, a group of Imagineers attempting to save the characters pitched the Critter Country 500. Passengers would board beat up ramshackle vehicles and be part of a race against the Country Bears. Henry, the host of the original show, and his critter sidekick, Sammy the Raccoon, would be race announcers, most likely setting you off at the start of your journey, counting you down. Some of the bears you would have encountered would have been Gomer and Ernest driving a strange blue vehicle that looks similar to a train locomotive, and Ted Bear driving a car powered by wind sails. It's likely the show's original audio animatronics were going to be reused and retrofitted into these new scenes. The attraction would have been a dark ride, and would have been housed in the show's former theater space. The ride system would have been very similar to Knott's Berry Farm's defunct Wacky Soapbox Racers. The ride saw four passenger vehicles race each other, traversing a course of sharp turns and dips. While Knott's used four separate tracks, it's unknown how many tracks Disney was going to use. While the effort by the Imagineers was a noble one, Winnie the Pooh was just way too popular for Disney to ignore. Between the choice of having a dark ride of one of your most successful brands, or a derby race ride with obscure theme park fairs, it's no wonder why they chose Pooh. While a country bear ride obviously never happened, this might not be the end of the story. I've mentioned before on this channel that over the years, Disney has made California Adventures Grizzly Peak a new home for the bears by adding country bear meet and greets. While this is largely the extent of it, Disney has recently added a carved statue of Big Al with Magic Band interactive elements that allow him to sing and talk in front of Grizzly River Run. There was a bear named Big Al. This might be foreshadowing to a possible Country Bear overhaul to the Rapids, which would be amazing. It's obvious some folks at Imagineering still love the Bears, as Florida's attraction is receiving a major overhaul as we speak. Not to mention, River Run doesn't have any animatronics, which is something people have wanted for years. Why not capitalize on people's nostalgia by bringing back the Bears to the Disneyland Resort? This is all speculative, so we'll just have to see. Maybe the next couple of years, a Country Bear ride will happen after all. Or maybe, it's just a statue. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, why not subscribe? If you have any video topics you want me to discuss, leave it down in the comments below. And as always, have a great day.